Hello. I put some makeup on today. I'm gonna go grocery shopping probably later. Blue's here. Say hello, Blue. Mm. Don't, don't. He got upset because um, Gladys was doing her class in the basement, but today she was in her room and he knew she was there, so he. Oh, come on in to bother her. <laughs> so he's kind, of, he's kind of like having a toddler again. But, um, but we love Blue, anyways. <laughs> he's, 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 he's still a little, he's still a little whiny. But anyways, I'm going to read this from, from this one today. This from the new one that's from, um, Walmart. Got it recently at Walmart. The Ultimate Weapon. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. Mm. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Second Corinthians 10, 4 and 5. That's from the NIV. Um. Thoughts are flitting through your mind all the time. They ricochet from one corner of your brain to another. Fortunately, you were not designed to follow every idea that comes into your head. If you did, you'd be going in a thousand different directions at once. That's because it's only the thoughts you claim that have the real power. That's why you're supposed to take every thought captive. And the more you own them, the longer you let them linger, the more powerful they get. Like I said, I'm reading these for myself. Um, over time, these claimed thoughts grow feet, arms, and legs, and take on a life of their own. Wow. That is why you need to take all thoughts captive and bring them into my light. Test them against my word. Realize that they are only thoughts, after all. Using my strength, my word, you can regain control. The power you have in me, that is your ultimate weapon. That is how you can change your thoughts, which will in turn change your mind, your life, and the world. Wow. Really? <laughs> it will change your mind, your life, but the world? That would be cool. Hey, that reminds me. I'm going to read Benediction from Eugenia, Eugenia Gamble that I posted on my community tab the other day. So I wrote it down in my journal. <laughs> Someone asked if this journal was for the year. It was for the month I already filled it up. <laughs> this this whole journal is filled. Um, and I had a bunch of these I got for the girls chat, which was discontinued. So I guess I can just keep using these ones. Yeah, so I've got another one of those. Let's see if I fill it up in a month. Um, it was this benediction that got me thinking about um, how to respond to to things and it's it's what made me decide not to just ignore things it made me decide to to speak out and speak up but it's a benediction by Eugenia Gamble, who was my parents' um, pastor when they were living. She did my mom's memorial. Um, we didn't have a memorial for my dad, who just recently passed. But um, this is the benediction. May God bless you with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships. So you will live deeply and from the heart. 
And may God bless you with anger at injustice, oppression, and the exploitation, exploitation of people so that you will work for justice, freedom, and peace. And may God bless you with tears to shed for those who mourn so you will reach out your hand to them and turn their mourning into joy. And may God bless you with just enough foolishness to believe that you can make a difference in this old world so that you will do those things that others say cannot be done. Now, may the grace of our Savior Jesus Christ and the amazing love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us this holy day and forever. Amen. <laughs> Here, Lou licking his paws <laughs> while I say that. Okay. Red and blue, we're out. Love you. Bye.